Hi everyone! Welcome to today's episode of Catching Up With Your Seco Stationery So Casual. Today we have a very special person here with me today. It's Jane. Hello. Jane, it's been a while since you've been in a video, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Last time I was on, I was talking about the postcard. Oh, right. You know, I was like, I was thinking the last time you were on, we were talking about mechanical pencils, which yeah. is like actually a really long time ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, yes, I'm really excited to have Jane today with me for this episode. And um, we actually have a little announcement to make about Jane, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Um, so you'll have to watch till the end. <laughs> <laughs> or skip forward. <laughs> Last week we actually um, had like really nice weather. We went out for happy hour. I forgot. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that completely. But we went to like the bar around the corner, right? Yes. And it was so cool. I mean, like we always have happy hour here on Tuesdays. Um, it's like sort of like a semi full house day. Everyone's here, and we like to just go and get some beers, but yesterday, oh, not yesterday, but last week the weather was really nice, so we actually took it to a bar outside, which was super chill. And then on top of that, last week we did announce uh, Christine's special project. We have um, her bookmark, which mm -hmm. I actually don't have here with me, but I'm sure somebody can put a picture of it up here. Um, and everyone has been like super, supportive of it right like did yeah. you i feel like even in store like i spoke to a couple of people who were like oh i saw christine's bookmark i'd like to get one yeah and a lot of people came by for it i know which really nice. uh, just like a lot of people came by for your postcard too mm -hmm. Doesn't it like always make you, I, I feel like I always embarrass you in store because like when Jane is in the store and somebody takes a postcard, I'm like, she did this! <laughs> and Jane is like, please stop. <laughs> so, yeah, it's really nice though, I really appreciate it. Yeah, so Christine has her special project out now, Jane has her special project and Ashley obviously has hers, everyone has like their things that they created for Yoseka and I love it. Did you take a bookmark? I did, yeah. Yeah, how have I'm you been using I'm using my yours? notebook, it's really nice. <gasps> oh my gosh, yay! It's like very cute and functional. It's Which really notebook? Um, my Midori notebook. Oh, your B6 Slim? Yes. Nice, yeah. I'm using mine in my traveler's notebook right mm. now. Yeah, and I like, just love how those look together. Yeah, yeah. with the leather. Yeah, with the leather I think is really cute. Um, but yeah, thank you for everybody who said like such nice things about it. I feel like Chris, it made Christine really happy just to see everyone's comments and the orders be like, I love Christine's bookmarks. And um, yeah, I just know that she was so glad that everyone loved it the way you guys did. So thank you. And I guess on top of that, we also added some new stationery this mm -hmm. past week. Um, so these are Kueko flat pouches. Right. They are really nice and functional. They're made out of leather that is a little thicker than the eco leather pouches. Right, right. Um, and this is real leather. So, so soft also. It's yeah, like they're very like oiled. Yeah, <laughs> which I is just like want good. To put it on my face. <laughs> but yeah, it's nice because I think they will. This one is technically for the sport, but because of the flap, I think it will technically fit other size pens, just like oh, smaller pens. Okay. Just so they won't be floppy. Wait, so this is for the sport, and this is for what? Uh, like the regular size pen. So like the Koeka student and the special. Oh, this it looks so small. It looks like it wouldn't. I know. Fit the yeah, student. but because of the flap, Ooh, like I there's see. actually supposed to be a little. I see. Okay, that looks yeah. like yeah, that looks like more like it. And it's also nice because there are built-in dividers inside. There's foam in here, but like you can see there are little cloth dividers to keep mm. your, I guess like metal pens or more precious pens from bumping into each other. Yeah. So, yeah. 
Yeah, I really have to step up my pen storage. I feel like all of mine are just like in my Naya pouch. Oh, and yeah. it's really, it's too much for the pouch. We also added these new erasers from Seed. Um, I love a kneadable eraser and I also love the packaging of this. It reminds me of gum. <laughs> yeah. um, we also added new Uni Jetstream three color multi pens. These are the limited two tone editions. So we added the regular editions like a couple of months ago and these are the new limited edition ones. Um, new Sailor Shikiori cartridges in all of the colors. Um, and these are packs of three cartridges in each of those colors. And new limited color Astrologies, which everyone has been really excited about. So I'm excited to announce that they're finally here. They are so perfect for, like if it had been March, April, I feel like everyone really would have gotten excited about these because it it's like when springtime comes yeah. and these colors are so good for spring. Um, but they're here better late than never. <laughs> And we are loving them. I'm a big fan of the new Stology colors. Yeah. Jane is a big um, Stology user. Yeah, I love Stology. And I just, I thought I would like these brighter colors mm. the best, but I actually really like this gray because oh. it's like a nice warm tone. Gray. Yeah, it is gray. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just feel like it kind of goes with anything. Like if you have colorful pens. It like, goes with your outfit. Yeah, I love gray. I love neutral tones. So this is probably my favorite pick. Yeah. yeah like um, yes, I'm. I'm loving the new, like all of the interesting new things coming out of Stology. I feel like they had like the other limited colors come mm -hmm. out. Now they have like the dot grid and the plane, and it used right. to just be like those notebooks, those editor series notebooks in like the black, red, yellow, those like those primary colors. And I'm finally seeing like some really exciting stuff come out of Stology, um, which makes sense because Stology is stationary and. Technology. Did uh, you know that? Yes. yes. <laughs> I, I always, Neil and I always joke about how like that's their name. It's so funny. Yeah, it's very, it's very serious. <laughs> yeah, it's so serious. Um, but yes, this is truly um, stationary and technology mm -hmm. in a notebook. Um, okay. And I guess if I had to pick a favorite, I'm pretty excited about our new Kakimori items. We have, um, just to show you, we have a bunch of new items from Kakimori, but this is new pen rests from them. And you can probably tell they look similar. And I might be like, might maybe you think I'm like holding two of the same up, but one of these is the Tokushima Indigo and one of these is Urushi. And the indigo one is, you can tell like in person, this one is slightly blue and the Arushi is like black, black. Um, but they look kind of funny on their own, but like when you put a pen in them, they really look so good. Like, I don't know, something about that yeah. just makes me want to get that. <laughs> yeah. It's such a nice, like, I don't know, everyday object and it's like so well designed. Yeah, and it's so simple, but yeah. I love the asymmetry also. It's, I feel like it looks good on like many different angles. Mm -hmm. How did they do it? Kaki Mori, <laughs> how did you do it? Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about these pen rests and then they have their new um, pen nibs. I really wanna do an unboxing video for one of these and try it out on camera. Um, this is like another dip nib that um, is great for writing. So it's been a very full week in terms of adding lots of new exciting stationery on these catching up episodes. We always like to pick a customer friend of the week mm -hmm. and um, Ashley and I were talking because we were there together in the store on Saturday mm -hmm. and we met this person, Paul, who is a big fan of ours on YouTube and he, he said it hadn't been his first time in the store but I think it was my first time meeting him and it was so funny because he came up to me and he was like, he was like, oh, you're so tiny. And I was like, I was like oh, it's rare that somebody says that to me. It's the first thing they say to me. But I guess he'd seen me like on the videos. Um, so like he didn't know like my yeah, size yeah, yeah. at all. Um, but he was so cute. And he brought two of his friends who were kind of new to fountain pens. Paul wasn't. And um, 
you know, it's cool because he got to teach them about fountain pens in our store and we got to have a lot of conversations about different nibs and one of his friends actually got a falcon mm -hmm. influenced by him because he's a big, um, like a flexi kind of... I see. Yeah, yeah. he loves the F.A. nib. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, it's fun that you know, you can take your friends to Yoseka and be able to show them all of these things that you love so much. Yeah, yeah. like it's a playground. It's a playground, yeah, exactly. And I feel like you've brought a couple of friends to Yoseka too, and you probably yeah. did like a little, little a lesson. Little spiel. A little yeah. spiel, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, Paul, thank you so much for coming to the store and chatting with Ashley about chess. Ashley's a big chess person and None of us can talk to her about <laughs> chess, so <laughs> you talk to her about chess. <laughs> um, and we appreciate that. <laughs> um, it was very nice to meet you and hope to see you again and hope you and your friends are like loving your FA and your Falcon nibs. Okay, so I guess without further ado, um, we can get to the big announcement, Jane's big announcement, um, which is, <laughs> uh, so you might have known already if you read the newsletter that just went out. That's right. Um, but I'll actually be leaving Yosaka at the end of next week. So yeah, it's been about, I think almost exactly a, a year, year, which yeah. is crazy because I think, I don't know the exact date actually, but I think I joined mid-May last wow. year. Wow, wow, right? really? I, yeah, I think so because it was right before the store reopened, right? for in-person oh. shopping, which was like June something. Something, yeah, it was yeah. Like the first week of June that we reopened. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. I remember like coming on right before that and like helping set up the store. <gasps> yeah, so <laughs> feels crazy. It's like full circle. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, um, for anyone who already read the newsletter, Jane will be leaving Yoseka because she's going back to grad school. And um, we're so proud of her. You know, I can't believe I can't believe you've only been with us for one year because I yeah. was just saying to someone else that I, it feels like so much longer. Yeah, I mean, Yosaka has grown a lot. Yeah, in the past year. So yeah. I feel like I've been here coincidentally for like you know all of these like huge landmarks. And things. you've done so much here. You've accomplished so much here. I wrote a lot of blog posts. You wrote a enjoy. lot of blog yeah. posts and you mastered all of our mechanical pencils. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what are we going to do without your knowledge of the Naginata Togis? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's we're really going to miss you, Jane. I'll miss it here too. I'm very, it's like bittersweet, I think. It is very bittersweet. That's yeah. what I said in my newsletter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but um, Jane is not going far for mm -hmm. school, so she will be back all the time to visit us. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll bring snacks. And ooh. I'll go over. Okay. <laughs> I won't say no to snacks ever, but you don't have to bring snacks. You can just bring yourself. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I guess you know it's like surprising that you have actually been here for exactly one year. I, I can't believe that like you were helping us reopen the store and like just going through all of our memories and stuff like that really makes yeah. me very emotional. Yeah, for sure. I remember like Hobonichi season uh, being like, wow. Oh my God, that's right. <laughs> and I was just looking at our Instagram feed and um, how like in August, like after, it was like August 19th, we made the post of you and Ashley in the store because Neil and I were in the hospital after I had given right, birth. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it was you and Ashley who were like really holding down <laughs> the store and like, um, yeah, just like working on that and Hobonichi season, like you really helped us so much. And yeah, I will definitely be sad. Yeah. I said I wouldn't. Cry. But <laughs> now I'm getting sad. Oh, don't cry. <laughs> but it's okay. We still have Jane for another week and a half. Mm -hmm. um, and that is part of the reason why we are looking to add some new team members. Do you have any um, words of wisdom for anyone who's applying? What What does it take to be a Yoseka team member? Ooh. Um, <laughs> I think... Um, 
so much of what we do is just grounded in like long in-depth conversations with like other pen lovers yeah so i think just yeah i think that was definitely one of my favorite parts of the job just like speaking at length with people who came by to try out like different inks um, yeah or like different nibs yes and you were so good at that like i well, i think having those conversations is actually what helped me learn oh. more about those things because when i started in the store like i was like not i was like pretty new to fountain pens yeah. and i was kind of nervous i was like ooh, i don't know if i like if someone comes in with like a lot of different questions <laughs> about like specific gold yeah. nibs, i don't know if i can answer but i feel like i learned just as much from like everyone who came by the store as Aww. from like you know all of my lovely co-workers that's so, very sweet yeah it's just yeah. like being open to those conversations and like enjoying them i think that was probably like my favorite part of the job and Aww. i think you know, if you think that is something that you could take from this and like enjoy, then yeah, you should totally apply. It's a really fun job and I'm really sad to be leaving. Oh, well, we're welcome to have you back anytime. And I've joked many times about having Jane freelance write blog posts for us. So. <laughs> I would love to do that. So maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, don't, don't, uh, do not fear. We might have Jane's blog post back. Um, but yeah, before before your final day, we are going out for a final team dinner yeah. next week. I'm very excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> we're at Sarai is coming, right, yeah. um, and we're we've like booked out a restaurant in Greenpoint, and we're just going to have such a big party among us, and just have a good time and celebrate Jane and all of her accomplishments. So we have that to look forward to. Yeah. yeah it'll be it'll be nice yeah so if anyone wants to make it to the store over the next week and a half <laughs> and say goodbye to jane I'll be there. Um, <laughs> yeah jane will be there uh, well not every day but you can yeah, you can yeah, yeah, message yeah. us and ask us you know and um you know say goodbye to jane and wish her good luck in her studies but even if you don't make it jane will be back and this is yes. not the last time you see her I'm yeah, sure. yeah yeah definitely yeah. yeah i'll be around yeah all right well thank you everyone for watching this kind of bittersweet sad episode of catching up um and see you next week yes. <laughs> bye bye